Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at seismic activity and the successful earthquake watch we set two weeks ago. Gorgeous eye candy from the Galactic Center and a big solar forcing story that plays across the solar system and in the magnetic pole shift. This is the last 24 hours on our star and we find the quietest thing we could imagine. No solar flares, no significant eruptions. Sunspots have remained quiet after their spreading event we noted three days ago. We did, however, take a brief solar wind-driven geomagnetic disruption yesterday, very minor, and driven only by a magnetic flip in the solar wind. No major shock waves or coronal hole speed enhancements, just blue panel jumping. That's the magnetic angle in the solar wind showing the magnetic reversal in that plasma stream. As I mentioned, the big sunspots on the south have kept spreading. Lots of space now between the front and caboose there. That makes it very hard to produce bigger flares, but we will keep watching today as it is directly facing Earth. Quick look at the weather here. This is the storm system that blew up yesterday, dropping severe weather and tornadoes. Major flooding is also a concern as the waters move downhill. This one isn't done yet, folks. Eyes open again tonight. We took a 6.9 earthquake yesterday, another big one, luckily far away from people. But you might be wondering, haven't we had a lot of bigger quakes recently? Oh yes, we have. And you might recall it was March 20th we set the earthquake watch for several reasons. And it really hasn't ended because the solar and geophysical signals also haven't ended. We are now 94 days into 2025. There have been 25 magnitude 6 earthquakes, but over half of them were in just the last two weeks, March 21 to now, the earthquake watch. And for magnitude 6.5s, 7 out of 11 were in just the last two weeks. Folks, that's called an earthquake uptick, and what you just saw is the most robust form of earthquake prediction in the world right now. When they do finally use the satellite data to pinpoint locations, I will fade quickly into the background. But nine years after I first showed you all how to do this, it is still unmatched. Amazing shot of the galactic center here, and while most striking aspect in these wavelengths is always the vertical streaks, plasma in the galactic magnetic field, they are now seeing similar versions of this sculpting when they zoom in. This new region of furious star formation is entirely sculpted and shaped by the magnetic fields, which are the bands in teal that you see, the lines, pretty powerful control of a high-energy plasma environment. Now, last but not least, folks, it was seven years ago that they described how the sun's energy put into Jupiter's aurora spread across the planet to the equator in equatorward traveling waves, spreading that heat everywhere. And by the time we were asking about Earth making animations like this, the equatorward traveling waves were spotted here too. And that's why Professor Owens is a genius. If he had tried this with Earth first, the climatistas would have quashed it can't do that now. Science pushed ahead and confirmed here, and folks, this means that the solar forcing we have described for 14 years is very real. It is particle-driven, not irradiance. And the ionosphere is the seed spreader, making sure that energy gets everywhere to the lower latitudes. Sun controls it all. And it's all modulated by Earth's magnetic field, which is in big trouble these days. Gold Co. Goldobservers.com is sponsoring our documentary coming out later this year on this event the great disaster cycle of Earth, Earth's magnetic pole shift, and how it will allow the sun to take over our atmosphere, oceans, biology, seismology, and more. Show some love to the documentary sponsor. Catch up with serious preppers, goldobservers.com. Also, be sure to book your trip to come out and see us at Observer Ranch. It is the summer of the observers here in Colorado. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.